welcome back. Today's tutorial is this double braided updo. I do have a tutorial of this same braid in a ponytail, but I thought it would be fun to share it as a low bun slash messy bun version. So I really hope you enjoy today's video. If you're new to my channel, of course, make sure to subscribe down below and let's get started. With my hair parted on the right side, I'm going to divide out the front section of hair on the left side of the part and then divide this into two sections and tuck the forward section behind my ear. Now with the back half, I'm going to pick up a small section of hair and divide it into three pieces for the braid. And I'm going to first cross the right strand over the middle, then cross the left strand over the middle. Now I'm crossing the right strand over the middle, bringing a new section into the braid. And then with the left section, I'm going to drop it down, pick up a new section of hair and cross it over the middle strand in its place. And this is what will create the waterfall strands for the second braid. So then I'm just going to cross the right strand over the middle, pick up a new section, adding it into the braid. Then I'm going to drop down the left strand, pick up a new section from underneath it and cross it over and into the middle strand. So one more time, I'm crossing the right strand over the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it over and into the middle strand. Then I'm going to drop down the left strand, pick up a section of hair from underneath it and cross it over the middle strand in its place. So I'm just going to repeat those steps, crossing the right strand over the middle, adding a new section into the braid, then dropping down the left strand, adding a new section into the braid in its place until it reaches around towards the back of my head. Now I'm just going to braid the rest of the section to the bottom and then cross the bobby pin over the end so it doesn't unravel. Now with the front section of hair, I'm going to pick up a small section near the part and divide it into three pieces for the second braid. And I'm going to start by crossing the right strand over the middle and then cross the left strand over the middle. Now I'm going to cross the right strand over the middle and I'm going to pick up the first waterfall strand and cross it over and into the middle. Then I'm going to cross the left strand over the middle, pick up a new section and cross it over and into the braid. So I'm crossing the right strand over the middle, but I'm not going to add in a waterfall piece. Then I'm crossing the left strand over the middle and adding a new section into the braid. Then I'm crossing the right strand over the middle, adding in the next waterfall piece. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, creating a French braid with the front section of hair, crossing the side strands over the middle, adding in the first four waterfall sections on every other stitch of the braid, and then the last four strands, I'm going to add them in on every stitch of the braid. I'm not sure why I did it like this. You can add them in on every stitch of the braid to make it easier. I'm sure it will work out just as well, but then I'm just going to braid the section a little further down and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom. Next, I'm going to combine all of the hair together into a low ponytail and wrap it once with a hairband. Then remove the bobby pins from the ends of the braid. Twist the hairband over my right hand and spread the ponytail around the hairband with my left hand. And then I'm going to wrap the hairband twice more over the hair to create the base of my bun. And then I'm just going to pull on the edges of the bun to make it fuller and this will also tighten it against my head. And then with the ends left sticking out, I'm just going to divide them into two sections, take each section and loop them back towards the bun, tucking them into the hairband to finish the bun. 